Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You are welcome to CTY online education program for SS2, the third week. The topic of our discussion is called salinity of the ocean. Salinity of the ocean can be defined as the degree of saltness or concentration of salt solution in the ocean or sea. Salinity varies from ocean to ocean and can be measured in parts per thousand or percentage. The average salinity of the ocean is 35.2 per thousand. On maps, the line joining place of equal salinity is called isoalines. The salinity of some ocean. The basic sea is 7 per thousand. The Red Sea has 39 per thousand. The Dead Sea has salinity of 250 per thousand. Lake Van has 33 per thousand, which is the highest salinity in the world. Factors affect the salinity of the ocean. Number one, rate of evaporation. Number two, amount of fresh water added. Number three, degree of water mixing by current. Now let's look at the different factors affect the salinity of the ocean. Rate of evaporation. The water around the pressure bed of the trade wind between 20 to 30 degrees north and south have high salinity because of the high rate of evaporation caused by high temperature and low humidity. Oceans have lower salinity due to lower temperature and a lower rate of evaporation. Amount of fresh water added by precipitation. Streams and icebergs. Salinity is lower in the equatorial water because of heavy rainfall and high relative humidity. Oceans into which, which rivers like the Amazon, the Congo and the Ganges flow have a lower salinity. Melting of icebergs and fresh water into basic Arctic and Antarctic oceans thereby lower their salinity. The degree of water mixing by ocean currents. Salinity is high in wholly or partly enclosed seas, e.g. the Caspian Sea, because the water does not mix freely with the ocean water and is not concentrated, is not penetrated by ocean currents. In areas of inland drainage without links to the ocean, continuous evaporation causes high salinity. In open ocean, where current freely flow, salinity tends to be low. Free mixing of water by surface and subsurface current is the salinity of ocean. Ocean current. Ocean current can be defined as the regular movement of water from one part of the ocean to another. There are also large masses of surface water that circulate in regular pattern around the ocean. Types of ocean currents. There are two major types of ocean currents, which are the warm current and the cold current. Warm current, these are those currents that flow from the equatorial region towards the poles and have relatively high surface temperature. Cold currents, they flow from the poles towards the equatorial region and have relatively low surface temperature. Causes of ocean currents. Number one, planetary winds. Winds is one of the most important causes of movement of water in oceans. The trade winds move equatorial water poles, poles and westward and warm the eastern coast of the continent. E.g., the northeast trade winds move the north equatorial current to warm the southern and the eastern coast of USA. Rotation of the Earth. Due to rotation of the Earth, Ocean currents are deflected to the right of their course in the northern hemisphere and to the left of their course in the southern hemisphere. Temperature differences. Ocean water at the equator, equator are more heated and they are warmer and lighter than those at the poles. Since ocean currents at the equator are warmer and lighter, they tend to flow on the surface to poles where those of the poles are heavier and cold, they tend to flow to the, at the bottom to the equatorial region. 
shape of the landmass. Warm and cold current flows in obedience to the, temp to the topography and configuration of landmass. Landmass will diverge current from the direction initially taken by the current to a totally different direction. Salinity. Where the salinity of the ocean is high, the ocean water is heavier and moves at the bottom of the ocean to area of low salinity. Whereas where the salinity is low, the ocean water is light and flows at the surface to the area of high salinity. Effect of ocean current on adjacent coastal land. Number one, it modifies the climate of the coastal areas either by lowering or increasing the temperature. Number two, cold currents contribute to the aridity of deserts on the land mass, the effect by blowing or blowing towards. Number three, cold current also causes coastal fogs instead of actual rain, which is a form of danger as it affects visibility of aeroplanes and sailors. Number four, one current brings regular and heavy rain to their coastland. Number five, coastal fogs caused by warm or by current, by, cold current, by ocean current reduce temperature of areas where they occur. Number six, warm current by warming the wind blowing over them raise the temperature of adjacent land. Number seven, warm current helps to keep the ports of the polar region free from ice. Number eight, it releases plant nutrients. The, moment, the meeting of both currents can be a blessing to the people of the place because it brings about releasing of plants and other microorganisms. Let's look at the spin of warm and cold currents in the southern and the northern hemisphere. Areas where we have warm currents in the northern hemisphere include number one, Atlantic Ocean. We have it at the Canyon Current, we have the Flood, the Florida Current, the Gulf, the Gulf Stream Current, North Atlantic Drift, and the Guinea Current. In the Pacific Ocean, we have the Kuroshi Current in Japan, the Oyashi Current, and the North Pacific Drift. For the Cold Current in the Northern Hemisphere, we have the Atlantic. In the Atlantic Ocean, we have the Labrador Current, the Canaries Current, and the Inega Current. In the Pacific Ocean, we have the California Current and the Okotish Current. Warm Current in the Southern Hemisphere, we have at the Atlantic Ocean, we have the Brazilian Current and the South Atlantic Drift. In the Pacific Ocean, we have the East Australian Ocean and the South Pacific Drift. In the Indian Ocean, we have the Mozambique Current in South in Africa and the South Indian Ocean, Ocean Drift. We have the cold current in the Southern Hemisphere. We have the Atlantic Ocean, we have the Bermuda Warm Cold Current and the Falkland Current. And in the Pacific Ocean, we have the Peruvian Current and in the Indian Ocean, we have the West Australian Current. So at this point, we are calling today for today. Until when next we come your way, good night and God bless.